Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. A thief with a hero's relic is worrisome, but with you at our side, I'm certain we can handle him. After all, you have the Sword of the Creator. It was allegedly wielded by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. If the legends are true, you hold the power to stand against entire armies. A band of thieves should be nothing. Even the most elite Imperial forces or the Knights of Saros could not hope to defeat you. Is that so? Even if those forces were to hurt someone precious to you? Can you say with full confidence that you would not turn your sword on them if that were to happen? You know, your power does not lie solely in the sword of the Creator. You are stronger and more terrifying than you realize. Professor, when we leave the monastery, will you still think of yourself as my teacher? Never mind. I'm being thoughtless with my words. For now, let's just focus on the problem at hand. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain the crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. A stone?
A stone. I do not understand. Yet as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm. I could use a hand. Professor? My mistake. The next mission is to rout bandits in the kingdom, is it not? I find the idea unsettling. Though the bandits have captured a large prize, they are insignificant in and of themselves. The matter would be more appropriately dealt with by Margrave Gautier or the Fargus royal family. I grant that I am most likely jumping at shadows, but I fear that if Fargus is weakened, the tipped scales will lead to widespread unrest. what happened with the right of rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again. And so I've come here to unwind. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor, you are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you, though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Might you help me with a favor? I could use your help. Could you help me out? <sighs> Free 
Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it, last month there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. What? Knew I could count on you. Hey there. Come back anytime. Oh no. Wow, Lord Rodrigue in the flesh. What is Felix doing? This is such a rare opportunity for him to see his family. Hello there. I have a request. Hail, Professor. If I may introduce myself, I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. No, Professor. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. It seems that our next mission is another bandit hunt. This time, I've heard that their leader is the son of a noble family. <laughs> what a complete disgrace to the nobility. Hey there, Professor. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Word on the street is you wield some amazing sword. If you ever want to sell it to me, I'd pay top G. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorta. It's, uh, not for sale, is it? Hey, how about a favor? Appreciate it. That's <laughs> what? For a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the Sword of the Creator was almost stolen, too. <laughs> also quite unheard of. What impudence. For House Gaudier to invite us onto their land, they must be desperate. But at least we'll have the stalwart knights ready to stand around and watch us do all the work. Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. The coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? The head of the Western Church holds the title of Bishop. That's not as distinguished as an Archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Oh, that man I walked past earlier. That wasn't Lord Rodrigue, was it? House Fraldarius is a powerful noble family, linked to the founding of Fargus. Lord Rodrigue, its current leader, is a magnificent warrior. He's known as the Shield of Fargus. A dozen or so years ago, during the Northern Campaign in Srang, he performed splendidly as the King's right hand. 
Come to think of it, wasn't there someone from House Fraldarius amongst this year's students? <laughs> you acquitted yourself honorably last month. To think they'd go into the Holy Mausoleum and assault the Goddess Tower. I cannot imagine the Western Church was acting on its own. Someone must have been helping them. As for the masked knight who escaped, his days are numbered. I hope we find him soon, so I can kill him myself. I am Rodrigue Achille Fraudarius. I bear the great honor of serving as a lord in the kingdom of Fargus. I have come in Margrave Gautier's stead to retrieve their stolen relic. However, as I hear it, a group of students is to attend to this matter. I sincerely hope no harm comes to any of them. I'm so sorry my older brother is causing you all this hassle, Professor. Don't misunderstand. I always thought he was a piece of garbage. But I never thought he'd steal the relic. I can't wait to see his face when he realizes I'm in the group that was sent to take him down. Oh. This has been my first time to the Kingdom's North. I hear the people of North are cold and have much loneliness. Professor, I hear you have had work, uh, have worked as a mercenary in the kingdom. Did you find joy in this? You cannot remember? Is that having possibility? I have amazement. That's right. I heard a relic was stolen. If this had something to do with a family conflict, I don't think I could choose a side. I think I'd be a pretty good judge of that. I know relics aren't easy to come by, but I'd still like to get my hands on one. Right. chance to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Seros before. I couldn't get a single strike in! If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? Right. You guys have it bad in your own way. But believe me when I say, we've got it bad too. With all that happened last month, a great many knights were dispatched to the Western Church. And now we must set out for the Eastern Church, located in the far east of the Leicester Alliance. If I must die in Alliance territory, I wish it wasn't in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. I'd much rather go on a sightseeing trip to Deirdre. Oh, you don't know? Deirdre is House Regan's domain. It's called the Aquatic Capital. to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? <sighs> There's going to be a big investigation into the Western Church soon. I wish I could be a part of it. I want to hear for myself why Lenato had to die. like a natural wielding the sword of the creator. It's strange though, isn't it? The last owner of the sword was Nemesis, but I thought he didn't have any descendants. You have 
helped me so much. Need something? See you again soon. Sorry that the kingdom's unrest did not stop with Lord Lenato. Professor, the hero's relics are incredibly powerful. Please, be on your guard. The Western Church. The Central Church. They believe in the same goddess, but oppose one another. Fodlin is a complicated place. <laughs> Mercedes. Her face looks familiar. <sighs> Swinging a sword about in the Holy Mausoleum? The potential for damage is too great to imagine. I sincerely hope the saints' coffins were not damaged. Were you using magic? I've heard you weren't, but... Ugh, it's torture not being able to go inside the Holy Mausoleum for an entire year. <laughs> so, you have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You've certainly got the look for it. <laughs> I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? Not possible. Hey, Professor, did you happen to see that man I was looking for earlier? I just spotted him by the dining hall, but then he ran away. Oh? You saw him by the entrance to the monastery? Thank you, Professor. Father, I found you at last. Hey, Professor, don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests or heroes' relics or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Personally, I don't even care that I don't have a crest. I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck, I'll take muscles over a hot meal. Actually... life would be peaceful and quiet with a sprinkle of drama to keep things interesting. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? What do you mean? I don't like the way you said that. Stop trying to spook me! Is it true that Lady Rhea entrusted the Sword of the Creator to you? I can hardly even fathom you being capable of wielding something of such power. Just who are you anyway? That reminds me, the Leicester Alliance is governed through roundtable conferences between the five most prominent allied dukes, the five great lords. First and foremost is Duke Regan, the Alliance's leader. Joining him are the heads of House Goneril, House Gloucester, and House Ordelia. Lastly, there is the newest addition, Margrave Edmund. These five each have voting power in the conferences. Before House Edmund, it was House Daphnel that was counted amongst the five. However, it is said that the head of that family relinquished their vote to House Edmund, which had only recently risen to significance. Is it true? I can hardly... Hey! 
Have you seen a man who looks like me? He's middle-aged and relatively tall. If you get the chance, tell him I've gone out, okay? Hey, I heard about the things you did. I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. Teach, I hear you were able to use the Sword of the Creator. That means... What does that mean? Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis, the King of Liberation? So, I am trusting you. You must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the Goddess has seen fit to grant you. May I ask a favor of you? May I ask a favor of you? I'm pleased to have been invited. I am grateful. sense great potential in you. You possess something extraordinary. Yes. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. I appreciate your effort. Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. Really? Professor. Oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Oh my! The Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual Crest of Flames! <laughs> no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. Objective. Professional. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet...
Hi. Don't you think Professor Hanneman's been acting a bit... strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Maybe the assassination attempt on Lady Rhea, the theft of a hero's relic. I am up to my ears in foul news of recent. Speaking of, there's a terrifying rumor swirling around Garrig Mach these days. Apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping young maidens. Will the madness never end? Using magic? I've heard you weren't, but... Were you using math? I'll gladly take Not possible. I appreciate your effort. Oh, Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. 
She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. Listen up. I've got something to report. Actually, if I recall correctly, which is my job and passion, there were reportable happenings up top as well. That's why I'm still stuck with Mr. Backa. I'm still here by request of Lord Seteth. You can never be too vigilant. Truth be told, I'm used to the guy by now. Not Yuri, though. He shoots him a pointed glare every time he walks by. <laughs> How Yuri is that? Elfric used to use his position in the church to look out for Abyss. He basically set this whole place up for us. Then some scandal or other forced him out. Gotta wonder what got the church so riled up. What do you re- Fare thee well! Need something? See you again soon. Nice sword, Chatterbox. I like how it lights up. That's a neat trick. But now that you have it, the church is going to want to use your power for their own ends. Are you going to let that happen? Good. Glad to hear it. You got to think for yourself. You're too good to become one of their stooges. This, the best fighter in Abyss? Balthus, probably. Yuri's definitely the most cunning. Constance is the strongest with magic. The most dangerous of them all, though? Happy. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? You know, you're a busy one, aren't you? Always on the road. Being a professor seems like a tough gig. Back when I was first enrolled here, we rarely traveled. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was about it. This really stirs up the old memories. When I took part, my house lost. May have been my fault. It's hard to believe, but I was pretty rash back then. Hey, think I can join in again this year? Bet you can pull some strings and make it happen, yeah? <laughs> Miklon. I know that guy. Northern Fargus, he's pretty well known. Not in a good way. The guy does what he pleases. Attacking towns in Margrave Gautier's territory relentlessly. Stealing food and even abducting women. I may be the leader of a bunch of thugs too, but I'm nothing like that slime bag. Uh, a bit. I've got folks who follow my lead, but the similarities end there. A hero's relic can turn a slime bag like Miklon into a knight. I know you've got one of those shinies yourself, but don't go doing anything reckless. It's like this. 